Ah, 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 as seen on TV. So we're testing as seen on TV products? As seen on TV food products. So should we do that again and I say as seen on TV and then you say food products? Sure. As seen on TV. Food products. Ding. We got a yummy can bacon. Yummy crispy bacon from your microwave. And it gives you the frying pan flavor, perfect bacon every time. I've made bacon in the microwave many times, but usually I just do the paper towel method. And it usually turns out pretty good when you I do know, that. but maybe this will be less grease. Oh, uh, I'm so excited. I never eat bacon anymore because everyone always says it's so bad for you, but now I have an excuse to eat it today, so thank you. I'm always down to high oil yolk cholesterol any day of the week. What's fast and yummy and comes in a can? It's not- Let's try to answer that question. Diet Coke. I love how they're starting the commercial with a twist, because they always told us in school, when you do a report, start with something that's gonna get the attention. But this is gonna be a little twist about the bacon. If you saw this on TV, you would think, oh, this is for Dr. Pepper or something. But then you're gonna be so loud. When it shows the bacon, I'm, oh my gosh, what's going on? <laughs> Not what you think. <gasps> it's bacon. <laughs> okay. Ew, it's that big of a can that ruins bacon. it. <laughs> Ew. I like the editing. Make it the size of a regular can, you know? Right in your microwave. Look, no one likes slaving over a hot pan. Or That's honestly true. Pepper. No. Oh my our God. mom always gets mad at our dad saying, you stunk up the whole house with bacon. <laughs> it's going everywhere. It honestly sucks cooking bacon on the stove. It's Simply place your bacon strips on a specially designed vertical rack. Then pop it in the microwave, and all that grease, it just pours right out. So That's you still right. have to this figure out what to do with the grease. Oh no. And pour for yummy bacon without the chore. Other microwave cookers can leave you with a hot mess. Is the microwave safe dome that creates- And they always do this fake science so section. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> the vertical rack keeps the bacon separated. Get yours today. Okay, one thing we that- We did get ours today. I don't think this actually would work with the new generations because um, one thing that I always look for in these types of products is I wanted to say something about how it isn't gonna harm us. You know, they usually they would say BPA free or something like, I wanna know that like, it's not gonna soak bad chemicals into the bacon. If I was the marketing team for this, I would say we should add in a little four second thing saying, clinically proven no chemicals go into the bacon, you know? Also, they could have done a section where they bring in the scientist guy that he didn't go to college, but he just like is friends with Dr. Oz, you know? <laughs> and he says, did you know that bacon's actually good for you? The keto lifestyle is saving lives all across oh, the yeah, world. Oh yeah, because then everyone like me who was very much thinking bacon's bad would be like, okay, I'm getting it. Oh yeah, say, oh yeah, he knows what he's talking about. He has like a book about child panting. Oh so. yeah. It's so funny because they have her like look all disheveled and stuff like her hair is kind of in a crappy ponytail. But then they show the girl who's getting it all fast. Like she's so done up makeup. <laughs> I know. Like, it's like she's saving that much time. She actually has time to get ready. Whereas when you're cooking on the pan, you're basically forced to be ugly. Uh, yeah, you have a that, messy That girl isn't even ugly. <laughs> but she didn't have mascara on. Honestly, I'm ecstatic to try this. You're gonna have to stay around for the next three minutes or so to see what, how it turns out. Let's poof into the kitchen. Abra Kadabra. Got some great value, thick sliced bacon, hickory smoked. No, this is just hilarious. It's it's like a can. It's like oh, there's nothing in it, guys. Oh, it literally is. This actually looks just like the commercial. And it feels high quality. It is made out of like like plastic or something, but it still feels like kinda heavy, which proves that it's kinda high quality, I think. Watch us break it. Oh, oh. there you go. It's really simple, we just made it complicated. So, how many should we make? Two each? Let's just make uh, the whole thing. Oh, it doesn't seem like it'll fit, but it'll just make it fit. This looks like something you'd see at the um, state fair. Oh, it actually does. We put the pop can back on. <laughs> so hilarious. Sorry, I'm washing my hands. It's fine. So we put it into the shrimp microwave. It smells like shrimp when I opened it, so. Wow, and now we just wait. With these products, I'm always kind of scared of a file because like, did they test it for files? No, they, would, they don't want to get sued. As you can see, the bacon is in the microwave spinning and cooking. It's been a minute and 30 seconds and, um, it was kind of waiting so long. But do you smell the chemicals? Oh, oh, I, that. I smell a little bit of like plastic. Oh yeah, I've heard a few pops, so it's starting to cook. The secret film person that's filming this video mentioned that there's a scan thing they get a surprise free gift. That's cool. Let's, yeah, let's see what, see what we get. got. Better be something good. 
Oh my god, there's a wheel. Okay, this is how you know. It's like one in Las Vegas. Wait. Girl. Wait, I, I'm not giving it my phone number and email. You can put yours in. Uh, nah, um, I don't want to just get a bunch of spam. It's a, it's a nice touch. But you're basically signing yourself up for spam, but... Yeah. It's starting to smell really bacony. Mmm. And I'm also getting a feeling that it just is gonna be regular soggy bacon. That's what my psychic intuition is telling me. Do you want me to add 30 more seconds? Yeah, let's do it. Um, yeah, cause I don't, now it'll be the full six minutes. Before it was just five minutes and 30 seconds. My mouth is actually watering, I'm not kidding. Oh yeah? yeah. I, I am really excited. Would you like love bacon though? Cause I like, I love bacon. Um, uh, yeah, it depends what my vibe is, but today I am in a bacon vibe. Two, one, okay. Is it gonna burn his hands? Also, did it make a mess? Oh, but there's grease on the effing floor. Are you joking? You have to show this. There is literal grease that said it wouldn't be a mess. It literally ruined your microwave. I mean, it okay. didn't really, but you're buying me the microwave. <laughs> Wait, guys, this is this is already a flop. I know what? I know the creators are gonna try to claim it's because we use thick sliced bacon, but it's literal. Ew. We need to clean this out before we do anything. I was not. I'm just. Wow, because the commotion made it seem like this was Jesus, but it's not Jesus. Literally. And the handles are hot, so you can't really touch them. So that's another flop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's another one. I'm really <laughs> mad right now, so let's just stop filming for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas is exiting the bacon out of the microwave. Yeah, it's covered in grease. The handles are literally covered in grease, and it, it says no mess on the box, and there's a huge mess. Th that girl in the commercial was all happy watching the bacon. I'm literally like the girl who was on the stove. With no makeup. Uh, literally. Is it, um, it a sin to lie? Yeah. And they lied. So how do I go about cleaning this? Just like, hurry. Just like, get to it. But guys, like, when I opened the <laughs> when I opened the microwave and I saw that there was this much of a splatter, it was kind of like someone Opening the curtain and saying, everything that you hold is a lie. It was like deeply sour. I, I fell for that commercial. <laughs> I did it too. I was in this magical land where it was like, yeah. Don't. I'm just going to take this out. Yeah, it actually didn't make that much of a mess. We are kind of exaggerating it, but it did say, it said no mess. It did. There was just grease all over this Also, like, what's thing? all this rice and everything? That's, that's from, like, oh, that's from your, you, oh my god. Because we're not cleaning up other stuff that he didn't even cause, but. <laughs> so I actually think it would have been less of a mess if we did the paper towel method. Yeah, on and, a plate. And also, like Lucas said, the thick bacon probably added a little bit of a must, but I know even if we didn't use thick bacon, it would have done a mess. Is that bacon grease still? Yeah. You should lick it. <gasps> oh yeah. Okay, let's try it. it did, did the yummy can make bacon grease taste good? I mean, it just tastes like salt, so. That's a win. Thank you. <laughs> also, these things aren't even from the yummy bacon. This is just from you guys. No, from they're Lucas. from you. Yeah, this probably doesn't need to be filmed. Like, you probably probably don't care, right? All is fine. All is good. The future is brilliant. Okay. This dress is gone. I just can't believe this was supposed to make it easier and like we're both in horrible moods now. And you've ruined all my stuff. I know. <laughs> There's like a thousand dollars worth of damage in this kitchen now. <laughs> if the bacon turned out good, in my mind, it's, it's at least somewhat worth it. Because I was already saying that you could put paper towels under this, if this gadget is really good. That's true. But then it's like, why don't you just do the paper towel <laughs> method? <laughs> Ew. Oh my god, it's so gross. <laughs> this what is, is that pool? <laughs> a pool of grease. I mean, I guess in all honesty, this is how grease always, this is how bacon always looks, right? I mean, yeah, it is always so greasy. But it isn't crispy, though. A s Wait. It smells like plastic is burning. Is it crispy? Some of them are. I actually uh, kind of like soggy bacon though. A little bit. You know what I mean? So this won't gross me out. This bacon is kind of raw, but not out of the way. No, I'm wrong. If you were wondering why we'll, we have the biggest smiles on our face right now, it's because we haven't ate lunch yet and we're gonna make, um, I almost bought myself, breakfast burritos with these bacons. So that's why like, we're so happy right now, because usually we're really mad. Oh, here. Can you just zoom into this though? Like that grosses me out, how since you hang it, stuff like that happens. That is just gross. Now we have a pool of grease to deal with. Wait, so in the commercial they, you let this dry and then you scrape it out later? Well, they put it in a mason jar, but like, I don't, I don't have mason jars I'm just ready to throw away, so. I can't with the little dried, um, fat. Usually it doesn't happen. I know. It just but makes it, it look so gross. Skinny so. people try bacon for the whole time. <laughs> it's actually kind of good. Yeah, actually, I personally, like I said, I don't like when bacon is so crispy, so I like this. It's good, but this gadget, <laughs> mm. not to be an asshole, but it's useless. Get a plate, 
lay down paper towels, add the bacon, add another layer of paper towels on top, put it in the microwave. It's way easier, way better. Look how many paper towels we used. We're yeah, we spoiling still... the environment just as much as before. Yeah, we still have to use it. Plus, I always recycle my paper towels. And we... <laughs> you do? <laughs> no, I don't even know if you can do that. <laughs> the bacon is obviously still edible, but the gadget isn't needed. We have another product from the same brand. It's called Bulb. Hud.com. They're just trying to make life easier, I guess. Oh. So this is a yummy can potato. Perfect potatoes every time. Wait, why does it, this one look like a pop can? It's called um, yummy can. Oh wait, yeah. Is that a soda thing at the top? Oh wait, it might actually be. I'm gonna say otherwise the branding isn't matching. That's kind of funny. They make everything look like a can. What? That's a vibe. I mean, it kind of. It doesn't look like a can, but it kind of does. They tried. We were talking to our sister about this product who's a potato... Head? She eats potatoes every day in the microwave, right? <laughs> I think so. Or like every other day. And she said it only takes like four minutes four minutes to cook a potato in the microwave. So I'm kind of excited to see if this potato thingy majig like live... Like what's butter about it? There has to be like a gimmick or a cotch because you can already cook potatoes in the microwave. What's fast and yummy and comes in a can is not what you think. Ugh. The same gimmick. And then they're gonna do this. Okay, just wait, guys. This is the my favorite part of the whole commercial. It's potatoes. Let me go back. Let me go back. We need this. Potatoes. Potatoes. Oh, shit. Let me go back here. It's potatoes. <laughs> okay, you have to go back farther. And it's not what you think. It's. <laughs> and every time it works. You know what I mean? It's kind of ruined for us because we already know what they're, it's gonna be, but you have to imagine this playing on a random commercial break. Introducing Yummy Can. The new way to make yummy baked potatoes right in your microwave. No one likes waiting nearly an hour for potatoes. <sighs> honestly, it does oven. take too long yummy in the oven. An hour? Easy. Who has time for that? In modern day society? Specially designed for his face. <laughs> Wouldn't it be easier in modern day society because <laughs> everything's so easy to do? But yummy cans patent pending valve. Yeah, I love these little science pots. <laughs> patent pending. Let me take a lot of time to steal the idea. And then load it with your favorite tie. Something like that looks sexual. Can you do this? <laughs> or cream and chives and broccoli and cheese. Or Ooh, I forget about how much you can do with potatoes. I actually sure don't like please. like these types it's of potatoes, but I mean, I've never done like the broccoli thing. I think it's good. Like sweet potatoes and marshmallows. I mean, that's fucking gross. Never so maybe I'll make it sweet. I know you're kind of into that, right? Skins for the big game. Yeah, I kind of into that. Prepare fresh potatoes for mashing, or homemade potato salad for backyard barbecues. Which one sold you? Because the one that did sell me was um, when they had the sweet potato casserole. Because it was kind of like, oh yeah, you don't even need to boil the potatoes. You can just put cook it in a microwave and then make sweet potato casserole. Like, what, what, what sold you? Mine was the potato salad. Because it made me think I've never had homemade potato salad. I've only ever had it from a grocery store thing. But like, that's crazy. You can just make it yourself, you know? One time when we were at our aunt's, I think she had homemade potato salad. <gasps> Really? Yeah. Oh, I just assumed it was from the store, but she made that. No, I think she said she made homemade. Damn, so I guess I have had it. But that sold me, because that is just so good. And also just, I remember for so long I had this recipe written down in my notes, barbecue chicken inside a potato. And I haven't made it yet. Maybe if I steal this from me, I'll be able to make it. And it's yours for just $19.99 through this special TV offer. Compact and That is good with inflation, it's still $19.99. Because that was when I was a little kid, it was $19.99 everything. That's true, they never change the price of these things. Okay, that is kind of gross now that you said that, when they do that little thing. I know, something about it gives predatory energy. It gives clitoris vibes for some reason. You can just predator energy to <laughs> you? <laughs> I'm not joking. Oh my gosh. I'm really excited to try this product. <laughs> Let's snap. Abracadabra. We have the potatoes, the, the yummy can. Sorry, I'm not opening it. It's the same you thing. It, it, you have to like unclip these bottom things. Oh. It says one potato will take six minutes and I'm already kind of like mad because it, our sister said that whole potatoes only take five minutes. Yeah, this is the perfect potato. Okay, I'm gonna wash it. We just set it in here and put this on. So this is actually really easy. Who knows, it might turn out like very bakey and very good. Also, I'm a lot less stressed for this one because with with this, there's no way it's gonna make a mess. <laughs> no. It doesn't mean no grease or anything, so it's all good. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. What we just realized was usually when you cook potatoes, you have to put put fork, like little holes all over the potato, like poke a fork all over the potato, but with this one you don't have to. 
So how is ale gonna get inside of the potato? If there's no holes in it, ale can't get in, but if there is a hole, ale can get in. So it saved you a stat? And then you're supposed to let this rest for two minutes. So let's take this bad boy out. <gasps> the handles are hot, but they're not too hot where you're gonna get a bone. We're gonna be using this potato and the bacon for breakfast burritos. We're cooking stuff up. I haven't been tracking, but I think it's been two minutes. I have high hopes. Oh, look at that steam. Oh my gosh, it got shriveled up. It's like, this potato lived a life. Like, you're so young, you thought, and then you get old and you shrivel up. I'm not saying that's bad, it just is like life, you know? Oh, yeah. Nothing good or bad about it, it's neutral. I mean... Wait, it looks a little bit soggy, and the commercial promised that it wouldn't be soggy. <gasps> Look in the inside, it looks very dry. Like, is that is that the product's fault? Do we put it in too long? <laughs> it looks kind of burnt on the so outside. So basically, it said for one potato, six minutes to eight minutes, and we put it in for seven minutes. We need, we need to get the potato goal here. Oh my minutes. god. I, I love when potatoes are hard like that. Why can we do overcook them? We need yep. the potato goes opinion. Is this no, product like, actually doing anything different than the, than the normal microwave? No, I would just, I wouldn't buy this. Because <laughs> it literally tastes the same as just poking the holes and putting yeah. them in. I just poke, poke holes in, in the potato and put it in the microwave for four minutes. Because <laughs> this product is useless, let's just admit it. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Then we're gonna add this raw bacon to it. Cheers to Asian on TV burrito. It's actually really good. The bacon just hits. And you can just taste the as seen on TV. Mm-hmm. I know G from the Guido. That's good. Okay. Thank you. That actually- This is a uh, top pro and it says over 1 million units sold. Also, this is news to me. I didn't know that people, like when they drank a bottle of beer, they didn't think it tasted good enough. I didn't know that was a thing. This did happen to me once. I was at a restaurant with our sister and our dad and we got this bear that was on top. It was like this peach bear. And we yeah. were like, oh my gosh, this is so good. We need to find out what it is. So I found out what it was and I went to the um, store and got it. And we both tried it, me and, our sis we and our sister. And I was like, what? This tastes nothing like the restaurant. So if this does work, it's kind of cool. Oh, so I, I'm not kidding. I just learned that today. I didn't know that stuff on tap tastes better. You ever have a really great tasting beer on draft? Then you go home and drink that exact same beer from a bottle and it doesn't taste Yeah, as good. that literally that is just a story is time you did. Beer in a keg is pressurized and mixes with the air at the tap. So you get that thick foam head and rich So is it basically just like carbonated? Just get out of a bottle. Yeah, I don't so know. All you do is snap the tap pro on the top of the bottle and it aerates and swirls. I feel how simple this pour. product this is. Gives you I know, no more. Mm -hmm. Oh, th this one's definitely draft beer. Well, guess what? Both beers came out of the same exact bottle. What the hell's on his shirt? There's no batteries. A pretzel filters, necklace. So you can what? Why didn't they explain again that? And again. Is and that like a thing? I is, is that also a common thing I don't know about? You get it at Walmart. Yeah, you didn't know about those? <laughs> Wait, what? Because like, then when you're bored, you eat pretzels. Oh, I don't know about that trend. I actually have been living my life wrong. I remember, I used to think it was annoying when a beer had a foam on top. So people always say, put oil off your nose and put it in the foam to make the foam go away. Cause like it was annoying, but people like, the foam is the good part, I guess. I am absolutely a star to try this product. Stick around if you want to see. Let's try it. Abra, Kadabra. Oh yeah, well, this is the fail one. I got Blue Moon because is Blue Moon more of like a brewery bear? Uh, to me, it reminds me of indie people. Oh yeah, so I, I didn't get Bud Light because I feel that's too simple. Oh yeah, no, something this, with some flavor. I think this is, but I feel like brewery people would be so mad at us saying that. Because this is so mainstream. Yeah, it's like a Walmart type beer, you know? This is the lightest product. I How much could be? Was this cheaper than the other ones? Because it does seem, yeah, like it's nothing's really in here. Let like, should it be like 99 cents low key. This costed a grand total of. $12. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it does have all these mechanics on the inside, so maybe it needed to be, you know? You can't judge it by the size. <laughs> size does not model. What's the point of the rest of the box? <gasps> it's this, it's a marketing gimmick. They want to make it seem like you're getting more than you actually get. Is there anything in there? Yeah, <laughs> literally nothing. No, how Wait, you actually know how to do that? <laughs> I remember dad always made me and Emily do it. <laughs> 
what this tastes like a brewery beer. It tastes good. Does does foam on the top. So it already oh. is kind of doing that um top effect. Oh, yeah. should we get two glasses? We pour this in the glass and the yeah. other one's the other glass. You know that's what I mean? actually yeah, let's get a whole other one for the You're supposed to pour it like this just so you guys know. So then this product make it, the commotion made it seem so simple. You just put this over it. Is it on? You have to like slide it? Yeah. Oh, it's on. The top pro is on and then we just pour it. You just pour, I think. Should I do the side pour? It is way more foamy on. So it is doing oh, it's, something. It's doing something in there. It's taking a while. Cheers. I have the non one. Yeah, and I have it, the one that's. Are you just drinking foam? Yeah, I'm just drinking foam. Let me see if, see if that foam tastes different though, because it looks different. It actually tastes yeah, different. Yeah, this way. foam actually does taste like you're in a brewery. <laughs> this is cool. I've only been to one brewery, but. <laughs> Does the actual beer taste different? I need to figure this out, because I'm not a beer expert. I mean, I think it definitely does do something, honestly. Like, when this one just feels like smoother or something. Mmm. Was it so good? I'm actually amazed that it actually does something. Oh, and look, this foam has dissipated. This foam is staying strong, so I don't know if that means anything. It does mean something. This was not indeed useless. It's very useful. For all you beer um, enthusiasts out there, use it. And also, maybe you can use this with wine. I'm joking, you probably don't <laughs> want foam on top of wine. But you don't have to install a whole cake in your basement. You just use this. High five! We just got done filming and we realized that the one that was that used the top pro is darker than the normal one. Is it though? Actually, I don't know. <laughs> I think my eyes are I don't know if it is actually. No, no, it is. It oh, it is? is? Oh, it actually is, I think, right? Yeah, it, yeah, it oh. is darker, I think. It probably means something, right? Yeah, and the foam is still is a very healthy amount. It's been a few minutes. This foam is just pathetic, so I understand now. Um, how about Ali mixes them up, but we don't know which one we have, and then afterwards we have to say, I think I had the one. Oh, oh that's good. Okay, this is good. We're doing like science. Okay. No, you can't really look at it. Just, you know, because you'll see the foam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> Okie dokie. Can I look up, Jacob? Okay. Oh, here, here. here. Okay. Cause this is one, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Chug it. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry, Jacob. I would hundred percent have the one. I like, without a doubt, had the one. <laughs> okay. Right from the first sip, I was thinking the same exact thing that I had the one with the top foot. I think you did, cause yours is more foamy. Cause I could just taste it. But Wait. who was it? Yeah, it was Jacob's. Oh, my, my taste is so good though, so it's all placebo is what I've come to the conclusion. <laughs> it does do something, but I don't know if we're like, kind of like, if we were exaggerating it like a few minutes ago. Yeah, because when I was chugging it just now, I literally, it tasted like the one that I thought before was the other one. So it's, it's all in your head. Sorry. Psychology. Psychology today, pick this up and put it in your magazine. But do you agree like this I product still isn't think, useless? I still think it's a cute product to give someone, you know? The No Pro Onion Blossom Maker. Is it onion, is it a blossom onion or blooming onion? Maybe they can't say blooming onion. That might be copyrighted by Outback Steakhouse. They also have this at like Chili, Chili's in Texas Roadhouse. Oh, yeah. There's so, fried onion. It's so good. Remember that time mom tried to make it at home when it was like absolutely disgusting because it was so greasy? Oh, you that? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But this looks good and crispy, so. Well, this isn't like an actual mako. All it does is cut the onion. Oh, shit. But, but still, like, let's just watch the whole right, maybe we can still accomplish it. Yeah. Everyone loves those delicious blooming onions at restaurants. Why is it so good? Those are like 1986. Onion bloom, the fast and easy way to turn any onion into a blooming onion in minutes. Okay, that sauce in the middle is so good. I know we aren't going to have that sauce. We don't know how to make it because it's a secret. Sass that the only way you'd be able to get it is if you broke into the Outback Steakhouse CEO's house. I know, literally. Insert the onion and slice, slice, slice for a perfect bloom. Cover in batter and deep fry or bake until golden brown. Oh, when we can done, bake it? Remove the onion core I that wouldn't work. With your favorite dips. Mmm, delicious. The secret is the slicing guides that are specially designed to I mean, your knife for perfect This product kind of seems dumb, but... I know, I'm, honestly, I thought there'd be a push-down menu where you push 
down and it cuts all at once. But you still have to cut it. We're cutting individual? Like, that is so much effing work. I thought it was supposed to make our life easier. I know, but it's actually just taking up cabinet space for some useless item. Not, why we haven't tried it out yet. Why didn't they add a knife into it, though? Like, if, if you're gonna do it, do it. Slice, slice, hey, bitch, we got it the first course. time. Onion bloom that's just right. The commercial could just end it. Wow. It's like, just girl, you're <laughs> desperate. You are so <laughs> desperate. At this point, it's like, this product must be just um, really shitty because why are you giving us... Wait, so we start out with one and now we get full of them. I know, it's like, who needs that many? Why would you ever need that many? Because you're, you're going to make one at a time. I, are you planning on having like black, bl blooming onions for like every, <laughs> like every 30 minutes or something? And then isn't it just like human nature? If like someone's coming on too strong, you're repulsed. Even dogs yeah. do that. You know, like when you're so excited to see a dog and they just can sense it and they're just grossed out. Like that's how it is with this. It's like coming on a little bit too strong. Play hard to get. Well, I'm excited to eat a bloomin' onion. Same with me. Three, two, one. Abra, cadabra. We got two white onions because we're gonna make one with the onion maker and then one without to see like, is it even difficult to cut it slash like what's even the point? You know, like let's yeah. just see what, what we realize. Because mm -hmm. in reality, it is just cutting the onion in different directions. So it shouldn't be that hard, but maybe it would be. I know, yeah, we don't know. Oh wait, so you cut the onion, place it in simmering water. We're gonna skip that step. Wait, what? And then you batter the onion in flour and put it in hot oil. Oh. Vegetable oil is so bad for you. Is it actually? That's what all these like, um, Wait. people say about- You have to add ours oil. too. It's not enough. I don't even feel that much. I actually need to get ours. Crisco, you know what people use that for. Oh, yeah, Zella uses it for her legs, I think. Yeah, cause you do for your fun, that's all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're taking the layers off right now. Do you think you're like an onion, like people say? Like if people peel back a few layers, you think they see like they really? Are you like an apple where like the first layer is actually you? Um, I would say I'm more like an onion because I feel like there's um, but I think this is for everyone. I think there's like so many layers where like it would take multiple weeks or even years to like actually know someone. Huh. But do you do you kind of believe that or? That's just like some dumb fairy tale type I'm gonna show everyone the real me. You actually do? So you're supposed to just keep this butt on. I'm just gonna call it a butt, but I don't know if that's actually what the actual pronunciation is. Wait. It doesn't even fit. But yeah, we are gonna use this But Are doesn't... you effing kidding me? It didn't say anything about get- I actually thought in my mind this was a medium-sized onion. It's not is this a large? That... I mean, I did kind of think they were big, but like- Oh, it does say get two medium-sized. Well, I just cut some of the side off then? Yeah, I'm just gonna- but then that'll ruin the whole bloom. Mm -hmm. But it's yeah, fine. It These Asian tea products make it so complicated. Oh, it's still not working. Will this even bloom though? I don't think so. Just push it. Oh, we're supposed to put it the other way. The butt oh. thing is supposed to be at the bottom. Okay. So we have the def the, the cut square onion up. Wait, I'm not even trying to be annoying, but I don't even know if these are even. Oh, they are. They are. No, but it did make it kind of complicated. I saw, the first time you put this thing through, it wasn't gonna line up on the other side. Oh my god. <laughs> This like knife isn't the sharpest, so it's gonna take a while, but um, still. Throwing shade at my knife collection. <laughs> collection. And how honestly, I think it'd be easier just doing this without this thing, but. Okay, so did I do everyone? I yeah. Think so. Okay, so that's what it looks like when it's done cut. Then you take it out, and then you just like flower the whole thing. I bloom just for you. Oh yeah, this is the onion. Mm -hmm. I bloom just for you. Then I'm just like. Oh my gosh, thank you for blooming. Look at a lot of that. Put this in. I actually don't think this is gonna work, but I'm excited to You need to get to it like in all the blooming parts though. So now I'm just waiting here with flour all over my hands. And I don't want to get- Did you feel like you were crying? Oh, sorry, I interrupted you. Oh no, I didn't. Oh, this is scary. You could cut your hand. How far do I cut down though? <laughs> That's um, annoying. I would say um, three fourths. But I'm not kidding, like this asking them to be thinking like, this actually is bad doing it without that thing. Because we it's to, so dangerous that you're saying. Because we were trying to talk shit, but like. I'm actually scared for you. But is this enough to bloom? I don't know if this is enough to bloom. Yeah, I think fine. it is. It's fine. You can probably tell that Lucas's looks butter, but he I don't know if this is cheating or not, but we didn't have to cut any of the sides off on his. 
Because yeah, so you didn't technically follow the directions. But also, this, that, that's another fault for the product. If you're having a blooming onion, you want a giant. Yeah. Wait, is this enough? Yeah, it is, right? Yeah, but that's good. I was sure you're supposed to. Uh... You feel like that's good having a flower. <laughs> In the photo, they only showed it flower this much, so I don't really get how it's gonna do anything, but. Okay, guys, the big moment. So. Wait, it's when I put it in, it's gonna start splattering. It's like this runaway we just had. Oh, it's actually funny. <laughs> so, Lucas pointed out that when you're at the county fair, usually they only fly stuff for like 30 seconds. Then I looked in the pan and it looked like, it looks like the flower was getting yellow. So, we're gonna take them out. Okay. <laughs> These are disgusting. <laughs> we did it! Okay, turn the oven off, guys. Oh, it is off. Okay, they look disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> the flowers is sitting there, guys. It's not even fried. Yeah, this didn't work at all. Honestly, it'd be way easier just to get um, Uber Eats from Outback Steakhouse. And how it is like eight dollars, but still, like no one wants to put in this much water. I know you're gonna make it home, and it's just gonna taste like shit and look like shit. It's been a few minutes, and I'm. Excited to try these. Yeah, they're gonna be so good. Oh, so we, we're using this to get the core of the onion out. <laughs> okay, this is so gross. Okay, we got the core out. Yeah, this, buy it from Texas Roadhouse. This is so gross. Okay, yeah, that's the core. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. So, this part of the gadget, if you are a blooming onion maker person, this would actually be kind of useful. Yeah. This is stuff that Lucas has. It's like peri peri sauce, and it looks the same color as the sauce yeah. they give you at Texas Roadhouse. So like, it might be overdue, but that's fine, right? I feel like I'm like going through like a hallucinogenic thing or something. Like, is the smells? Just like stuff. I can feel it in my eyes or something. <laughs> oh yeah, I just want to take a shower. So first, let's try, <laughs> first let's try the one that you made. Okay. Literally, it's just nothing. Like, this is nothing. Don't, anything. don't hate before you try. <laughs> this is not onion ring, I guess. Like, it tastes good. It's not a blooming onion at all, though. Okay, now this is the one made with the product, guys. I'm not dipping this one. I know I'm not either. Uh, the one with the product might be better, actually. It does taste better for some reason. Like, at least some sort of breading attempted to touch it. Like, I don't know if the product made it butter or what happened, but somehow it is butter. I want to see it's just gross though. So, like, this is a waste. This product is a waste unless you really know what you're doing when it comes to deep fat frying. Which I honestly feel like 98% of the people in the hotel world don't know what they're doing. Yeah. So I feel like it isn't useless. Yeah, because we showed that when I was trying to do it without this, it was kind of dangerous and stuff. Yeah, just. So yeah, it isn't useless. I just think that I. It's not for people like me or people like Lucas because, like, I don't even know how to even, like, b like, you need to put egg in it or something because the flour isn't just going to stick by Also, itself. I feel like you'd have to really ask yourself, how many times do you want to eat Blooming Onions a year? I feel like most people, it's once a year when you go to Texas Roadhouse. Like, this isn't something you want to make every <laughs> Sunday. That's just gross. Yeah, anyway. Oh. We have no more as seen on TV products to try out, but um, the consensus is that three out of the four as seen on TV products. <laughs> they did that. They sneezed. They weren't good. But then again, we do have to give the benefit of the doubt. Um, we didn't use the right size bacon. And people buy these gadgets just for giggles. And that's what we got out of it. We got some giggles. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. You made it to the end of this video. Um, wow. You, we are friends now. Congratulations. I mean, it's fine if you think we're friends, but like, we aren't actually friends, obviously. Okay, I'm bye. your actual friend. <laughs> bye. <laughs>